Yes, I'm a college student, and um, I would like a long-term career in the restaurant industry, and uh, I would like to know some suggestions on how I would go about that. Well, first of all, in the industry, there's a lot of choices, a lot of different paths you can go down. For me, it's funny. Uh, my mother always kind of laughed at what I chose to do for a living. Even while I was going to college and uh, got out on my own, there was always this <coughs> concern, if you will, that I'm in an industry that has no opportunity, no place for me to go. But yet, this industry has over 13 million employees. One out of every 12 people you meet has worked in the restaurant industry at least a year. Multi-billion dollars in sales, multi-billion dollars in profit. There are tons of people that have gotten rich off the restaurant industry. Well, but what the media a lot of times says is there are no opportunities. It's low paying jobs. Benefits are not very good. The hours are too long. Work is too hard. But see, that's not necessarily the truth at all. I would say this. When most people tell you they're working 100 hours a week, add up the hours. Because 100 hours a week, if my math is correct, would be seven days a week. 15, just short of 15 hours a day. Most people don't want that. But what they do do is they have to work hard. You're going to have to work hard in this industry. You're going to have to be focused on the options that fit your skill sets. You can become an educator. You can become a trainer, an operator, a purchasing executive. You could become an owner of a restaurant, a franchisee, a franchisor. You could become a consultant. You could come up, become a book writer. You could become a person who creates a product or a service to sell to the restaurant industry. There's 150,000 product and service providers in the restaurant industry. This is the largest employee workforce behind the federal government. This industry is not going anywhere. And again, you've got to look at the success of those that are making the money in it. Don't look at the folks that are toiled and not getting anywhere, because there might be a likely reason why they're not getting anywhere. But you've got to look at the folks that are willing to work hard, go above and beyond the call of duty, the ones that are willing to learn the business inside and out, willing to outwork, outthink, outcompete. And those folks are making a good bit of money, most likely. Now, the reality is, it's all in your definition of success, and it's all in your definition of what a good bit of money is. But it would be nothing to make $100,000, 200000 a year in this industry. That is not difficult. In fact, my belief is that if you're not making hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year of income, personal income, you're doing something wrong. But there's also people making millions of dollars a year. So it really comes down to you're at a perfect point in your life to determine what intrigues you. And I would say the most important thing is educate yourself. Do everything in your power to get the education you need so you can make the right decision that's personal. <laughs>